Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part five of Let's Play European Universal's for Imperium Universal, the Athenian democracy. In the last part, we conquered. Well, I think that was the last part. We basically in last session we conquered these four provinces right here, and uh, we yeah yeah we did some good right there, and we're now planning to go forward, Milos. We actually finished two of our ideas. Our fleet now being a uh, definitely a force to be reckoned with uh, amongst the Greek states or city states. If we look at the navies in the world, we're actually one of the biggest, which is. We are the sixth biggest navy, which uh, we ri uh, we're rivaled with Corinthus, who actually has more pen counters than we do. Uh, but we have more bigger ships. But doesn't matter. It's it's fine. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and get uh, my maritime ideas done, even though my diplo is a little bit behind. Because right now I think personally, having maritime ideas is going to get me like finishing maritime ideas will do me some more favors, um, especially because it gives me like makes my sailors better. And uh, in on, on, if in all honesty, better sales is definitely better for us. Um, so, right now our uh, citizen hot plights are training. Obviously, they're not actually citizen hot plights. Although I could probably raise up my citizen units and use them instead. They are meant to be better. Um, just not really what I need right now. Um, I'm thinking of making these guys non-autonomous, but I don't really want to risk them taking away any more of their troops. Obviously, because right now we're in a good position with how our troops are. And we are going to get uh, Seaborn Captains. Because I would like to get... Uh, I'd like to just finish this. Because, you know, having uh, the ability to have an even bigger navy would be nice. Um, I think I'm going to build up five more of these little... Uh, the deer, uh, Which, what are they called? Fucking... Uh, Tri-Counters. If we get some more Tri-Counters going, that'll be good for us. Obviously, it means they can, find, they can eventually then transfer a full 15k army once... Uh, we're allowed to, once we're able to officially like, recruit such a large army. Uh, and finally, we could get, so we could get Attic Democracy. Right now, we have nothing. We don't need any of that uh, Republic of Tradition. So, what would be better for us? Trade or, uh, ooh, I don't actually know. Both could be good. Um, um, Uh, have a gold income of at least two, right? There's, I'm pretty sure, yeah, two of these islands. I'm sorry, one of these islands is a gold island. How much gold do you make here? All I need to do is take Milos, and that's done. So if I can, if I do that soon, when does this uh, end? This ends. Classical period starts. Sorry, this ends. Uh, okay, so this age starts when the year is is 290. Okay, so we've won one Olympic Games. The three more of that isn't going to be too hard. Having Grand Navy is going to be a bit hard. We have got the birth of democracy, so. We are getting 4.73, um, but if we get a gold and silver, we'll then be getting like six. I'm going to go for new ways of production, because right now, getting more income is going to be smart. I don't know if that really helped me too much. Um, but we now just hit the gold. Yeah, that, we, that did, because it gave us uh, the gold and silver. Uh, I don't actually know what we get. Oh, we see, we're, pretty, we're, using, we're getting silver. But taking more gold would actually be really good for us. Um, and you know what? I'm actually going to put myself, my uh, army up by probably two more, in yeah, we're going to get two more infantry, or one more, yeah, two more, there we go. Two more infantry before I attack Milos, because uh, they're allied with Naxos, and their allies have not changed, Paros and Naxos. Naxos and Paros are going to be the hardest pair to take out, because obviously these guys, all these islands are linked together, whereas Milos, I can just land in Kios, or Ilios, and then they attack Milos via, like, the land bridge. So getting me up to 12,000 men should... Uh, I might actually, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to get myself up to, so we're up to 13. I'm going to go for one more skirmisher, and then that's where we're going to stop. I don't want to get too many men, because obviously I don't want to be, you know, two of my limit. But right now, I think this is a good a good amount. It's kind of killing my income, but it's it's a killing it in a way that I can accept. Time for a new icon, a 354, I can accept that. Uh, I'm just going to break, get rid of that. So how, uh... We have a conquest on you, um, which I think is going to be better than Polis Rivalry. Nope, it's the exact fucking same. Um, I'm going to do conquest anyway, because I have conquest. I think I have conquest on Naxos. No, I don't. Um, fair enough. If we can't take Naxos, we, if we don't end up taking Naxos, that's fine. I mean, these like two are the ones I need. Um, is how much money are we earning now? We're earning, still earning quite a bit of money, actually. Uh, training. How much are we getting per month now, though? We're getting, we'll see, we're getting quite a bit. We're still getting 0.9, though. It's, it's not changed, really. 
But our army should be a little bit stronger. Actually, let's have a look at professionalism in the world. Um, uh, professionalism. Alright, there's some nations with 100, so I feel weak as fuck now. Uh, military tech, there we go. That's a perfect thing to get done before this next war. Um, right, let's move you. I'm gonna get you ready for war. I'm ready for- I am ready for this war. You know what? We could do with another unit. We could do with unit of cav. Another unit of cav. What's the uh, front line limit? 12, 21. So yeah, we're already right. We have another cav should be enough. How many cav do they have? They have 1,000 cav. No, I'm not going to get any more cav. I think I'm just ready for the war as it is. So uh, I'm going to clink you, pick you to the boats. So if I was to take Milos, I could get one person. And that's uh, these guys. I could get them to come help. If I got a diplo, if I had a diplo rep guy, I could get some help, someone else's help. And I'm gonna try and get someone else's help because I would like, uh, I would like some more help from other, some other guys. Yeah, of course, we do have to remember I have a depleted income because of the fact that I'm now, you know, over my force limit. And unfortunately, my gold has gone back down. Gold and silver, has, I lost gold and silver again, so that's unfortunate. Um. Luckily, we got the exact, exact person we want. We just need a hire now, which we'll have to do at the end of the month. There we go. Again, now I'm losing even more money, but in the, in the you, know, you have to think about it. In the long term, this is okay. Also, we have a great navy that I've now that I'm sorry, a great leader for our navy now that I've just seen. And yeah, we can't afford a new military leader, so we'll have to the military leader we've got will have to be good enough, which he is. So there's no, no nothing wrong there. So how many people help me in this war? Everyone will. So we'll go for you, Fetos. And I think I'm going to leave Focus for now. Um, no reason bringing you into this. So we'll go with... You know what? We'll go Focus. There we go. Bring the Navy into down to bear on this. There we go. Ah, yes. Uh, can I have a... Can I have... Ah, oh, you will not give me access. I'm going to have to drop exactly right on top of them. Luckily, my army is so big that that was not a problem. And the good thing is, I've blocked every single navy in purely by being in here, which is great. So, this is going to be good for us. Uh, I may try and get a new va I may try and vassalize Naxos, actually. Um, depending on how the aggressive expansion goes, because obviously I don't want to gain... I don't want to garner too much aggressive expansion. Um, but I also... How many limit... Like, what's my limit? So... I would be over my limit of vassals. I mean, I could leave them as half autonomous. I could sort of leave them as autonomous for a while. But I'd rather annex uh, yeah, I'd rather annex them, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense. I need more people at this side of my... Like, I need a lot more naval vassals. Uh, well, yeah. Not naval vassals. Yeah, naval vassals. Vassals who have, can have a competent navy. Whereas this guy, who is literally... Actually, yeah, see, if I just annex this guy, then the, this guy will be perfect. So, yeah. I think we're going to try and get Naxos as a vassal, and then we'll... Uh, Move on from there. I'm going to allow allies to use my uh, allies to board. I'm going to go get this uh, province right here. Seeing as they don't seem to want to stop me from taking this one, so I'm just going to go take it. Uh, who are you has a weaker uh, leader? 4-2, 2-3. I have a 4-3, free, free. so I'm going to go take out... Uh, we don't have time for looting. Whoa. Oh, shit, I won. Holy crap, I didn't think I'd won that. My vassal just got his head kicked in. That's fine. And pro a profit of 100 gold from slavery. And they slay... Oh shit, the Democrats have took over. Which means that there's going to be a Democratic coup. Which means I need to spend 200 admin... Uh, sorry, Diplo, to get them... Stop them from cooing. Because uh, them cooing is not in our best interest right this second. Stop going up! War exhaustion is uh, fucking with me right now. It's like, hey, I'm going to fuck you over, you cunt. Uh, being a democracy isn't in our best interest right now. Naxos, uh, what would it, how, would, how would it... Yeah, you being a vassal is cheap. I like cheap. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to vassalize them before we take out their army. Because obviously taking out their army you know, is annoying. So we're obviously going to work to get and make them non-autonomous straight away as well. Because that's just... The right thing to do. Now, quick question. No, I actually have to take the free islands here. So as much as I'd like to just own... I like to vassalize these guys, I'm going to have to take them. 
Though I am looking forward to the new gold income. Uh, whereas Naxos, what does Naxos have? They have some swine and they have some fish. They're not the best like exports, but I mean, as long as they are strong. Okay, let's. Okay, yeah, I have to wait for them to do that. First things first, I want you to let me vassalize you. I just destroyed your navy. I didn't really want to, but I don't want to destroy the same thing. Is I don't want to destroy their army because destroying their army means that I have to like, let them like wait for them to replenish it and fuck it. At this point, it doesn't matter. Just fucking take their army. Take them out. That's a good boy, Naxos. Naxos is surprisingly loyal for how much their relations have. So let's uh, give them aggressive. Um, obviously, pr uh, prove relations is going to be something we need to do straight away. You know, just to try and get them immediately happy with me. This war is actually going to be quite good because it's going to give me a position of power to attack everyone else. Oh fuck me, Feebi would rebel when I'm uh, while I'm busy. As admin tech seven, we're getting ahead of admin tech, which is great. Okay, there are a four. If I can siege just quicker than they can, that's good. If not, well, I don't deserve to win. I am going to have to unfortunately pull some manpower back. So obviously, I, I don't like. I like to make sure I've got. That's the whole reason I always train my army so I can have, you know, more manpower. I'm sorry, manpower readily available. Naxos got some men, which is good. No reason to placate them because I'm, I'm I'm strong enough for it not to be a problem. Okay, all we need to do is get this siege first. Oh fuck. We're sieging quicker than them, it looks like. So that's that's a, that's a bonus for us, obviously. Uh, of course, a new archon must be. Uh, yes, there we go. And there we go. That's uh, two new provinces for me. Come on. Get up there. Actually, you know, just fucking drop him in the normal port and we'll... Uh... Wait, why do I have... Oh, sweet. I picked up some ships. I'm taking free ships. Uh, Mayor again, please. Thank you. Uh... There we go. That's a victory for me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is another four province take... And uh, if we look at our aggressive expansion, we're still not in the... Uh, like, we're just at 16. Like, this is actually probably the most most tactical I've been. And the only reason we're doing this well is because we got... Like, the game basically gave me the victory to begin with. With these, uh, the two people, sorry, here and there who attacked me. And when all... That's when Sparta showed their true colors and was like, Nah, we, we don't actually like you. Fuck yourself. Um, so that's going good for us. Uh, how many men can we actually have? 12. So I'm going to ditch uh, three of these, two of these guys. So we'll ditch this guy. Actually, let's first things first. Let's do this a smart way. Let's uh, consolidate. And then we get rid of people. Because then we can get rid of the, you know, the ones with the less people in. Or least people in. Although in this case, one of them will be an archer anyway. So we have 11,000 men. Um, the Democrats are steaming towards, uh, like storming towards us. How, much, how cheap is it to get rid of... Uh, this, it's 72. Then, yeah, I need to get rid of that. Anything to slow down these bastards would be good. But uh, our new vassal is honestly quite happy with us. We need to get them to up to 150 relations, though. But at the moment, I, I want to get these guys annexed. Ah, I don't have 100 Diplo power. Right now, everything is costing me Diplo power. It's uh, quite depressing. But we have quite a lot of money now, so let's... Uh, look at some of the buildings. So we get Herbalist Shop, which uh, decreases decreases devastation and gives me a uh, cost of reducing war exhaustion. So basically, it's like the training camp of, uh, of like, certain buildings. Like, it's like a training camp build. And we could build a Grain Depot, which gives us extra force limits. So yeah, we're going to have to do that. And you know what? Let's get a Herbalist Shop in Athens, because our... Well, is it Athens, or is it called Attica? No, it's Athens. Attica is the region itself. As I learned from uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I wish, really wish I still had, to be honest. And hey, ladies and gentlemen, next month we're going to get ourselves, in a couple of months, we're going to be getting ourselves a new, uh, an early institution. So we're going to be getting either elected assembly or a bureaucracy. I don't know which I, will, I want to get. So let us uh, look into this. I'm going to pause the game, we're going to have a little look into it. So right now we have the ability to go for an elected assembly, which uh, gives us national unrest minus one, nearly corruption down and democratic influence up. Uh. Or bureaucracy. And I can't remember. You know, it's an elected assembly. It has to be. 
Because that's what we want. That's what we're going for. I hate that I'm get I'm I, I'm like try. I, I mean, the Democrats are what I want. I just don't want them to coup, which doesn't make sense. I don't understand why they would coup. I I feel like they wouldn't just immediately be like, nope, that's it. We're not allowed to be a polis anymore. We have to be a democracy. Like fucking change everything. So it looks like all my vassals are a uh, 4K. I have to be 4K. Okay, I was about to say, are you lost? But no, you, you got home. It's just for some reason you're not, you're not doing anything. But hey, 12,000 men. We're now on par with Sparta when it comes to the amount of men we have. Uh, that's not one. Uh, great powers. We're at 88 population. Uh, so that's eight, 880,000. I believe. No, sorry. 75, 750,000. We don't actually have that much tribal population, which would which, uh, probably explains why our military is only about, can only be about 12. Um, yeah, it looks like we're at 30% on our rebellion li uh, rebellions right now. But, uh, yeah, it happens. Macedonia hasn't, I'm sorry, Macedonia hasn't grown. Roma hasn't grown, which is interesting. Doesn't look like there's any much growth going on. I mean, like, you, I know that there's, it's not, we, we haven't got this problem where there was like nobody's declaring war out. Because I've definitely seen quite a few wars going on. And there was like, as you can see, Lydia has grown massively. And that's because they always fucking do. Lydia has that thing where they grow and then they, like, systematically fucking implode. Not, like, shortly after. So, they do have a very bad, uh, like, uh, way of, like, things for them. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn, my merchant vessel sank. And you know what? Seems we seem to have, like, some time. I'm going to get myself some, uh... What's it called? I'm gonna get my uh, army just training up again. Yeah. I kind of wish I wasn't using admin, uh, sorry, diplo for so many things. And the game list, don't, don't worry about that, you know, every so often pausing. It's just, it, it, it happens every so often on mic for some reason. Potter, the pottery of, uh, so I could have a get, you know what? Right now, money is uh, in my best interest. Uh, some more herbalist shops. Herbalist shops eventually will actually prove very, very actually, sorry. Uh, they prove amazing anyway because they get rid of uh, they they help you get rid of devastation. Like to be fair, if Milos wasn't coring, I'd have one in Milos. Legitimately, so yeah, let's. Uh... Kind of want to get to Law and Order because uh, looks good. But we well, so when do we get when do when when will we get the next uh, government reform? Uh, Two thirty four, not bad. So I think we've played about 50 years and obviously about five parts, purely because we're playing on four speed. Um, eventually, like, we've grown pretty we've grown pretty pr quickly. If you look at actually what we have, like, we've grown very quickly in comparison to how um, I, I, some people, like, the AI grows. So as long as we grow quicker than the AI, it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to be super, like, super growth. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to be, like, do all the tricks, tips and tricks you could do. Uh, at the moment, I'm just trying to play in a way that makes sense. Uh, trying to keep myself... Grounded in a, in, a, in a democracy while also trying to, you know, balance the pa political factions to keep us in a, in a status quo and not have a, not have any political strife. Which is getting harder and harder to fucking do. Um, so, yeah. We could have a de deity, which would be nice. Uh, like, we could, like, have a deity that we show favor to, try and get uh, some happiness. And there's low. Oh, I love that. I, I really wish dem democracies loved slaves because holy crap, they are earning us some good amount of money. Um, yeah, they're not really worth getting, nor are they. Well, technically, these ones are worth getting because they, they obviously they give you like getting these buildings eventually will probably be profitable. So, I like, once they uh, have you know a decent amount of population, and we've already got all the craftsmen. So why the fuck is it redded out? That's weird. Um, oh yes, can we let you camp? We definitely need one of those in our oh, vassal. Um, uh, you both my vassals need one. They seem to be very good on the population there. And you know, if I make my vassals have more manpower, then once I take that build, once I take them over, that'll be better for me. Uh, small marketplace. Yeah, fuck it. First things first. We're gonna give us. We'll give them an AI uh, like that. I think we should get some sh uh, shipyards going as well, though. You know, try and get keep get uh, shipyards everywhere. Obviously, here we'll have to wait for it to go. Oh, profit decisions? What's this? Allow autonomous building. How dare you? And of course, we'll elect a new Archon. We seem to be getting very lucky with Archons right now. Uh, obviously, we've had we've had some bad luck, but we seem to majority be getting good luck. 
Uh, Naxos, you are still allied to people I do not want you allied to, but I'm not in a position to say no allies for you. I think I am now in a position to do this. I'm just going to get rid of them. Uh, we lost the right, and we won the uh, stadium race. Stadium, is that stadium? I'm pretty sure that might have been. Uh, but yeah, we won that. We won that race. Uh, so all we need now is uh, one more Olympic thing, and we good. I'm gonna definitely get an Attic Democracy next because I feel bad for not getting it. Uh, right, who can we rival? Sparta is apparently still stronger than us, so we're gonna leave Sparta alone. Vespia, oh, uh, Vespe, Vespia, uh, Argos. No, I'm pretty sure Argos is the one I just actually eclipsed. Focused, get fucked. They're my ally. They're a great ally as well. Um, I wish like when you, I wish actually that's one thing I, I think would be a good thing is whenever I open this, whenever you open this, it can show you like it shows you the potential allies on the map. It like has a map mode where it shows you potential allies. Oh sorry, rivals, because that would be fucking cool. But unfortunately, gentlemen, I'm gonna do this in the next part because I actually don't know who want a rival. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See you guys then.